Oscar Isaac stars in 2013's Inside Lewin Davis. Imagine my surprise and disappointment upon finding out this wasn't a porno. Let's begin. Inside Lewin Davis was requested by Patreon user Brian Davis. Not sure if there's a relation there or not. That's odd. That's oddly coincidental. Anyway, you can also recommend movies on Patreon if you become a Mithril member. It's quite the experience. You can suggest any movie you want, and I have to review it and give you a shout out. And once in a while, the movie's so artsy and boring, I just think, is it really worth it, Adam? Was it really worth it? For that Mithril membership. So thank you Brian Davis, let's talk about the film briefly. Inside Lewin Davis is a Coen Brothers vehicle, so 50% of the audience is gonna hate it right out of the gates. They're typically a slower, plodding affair, focusing on character development, focusing on story, and being outside the norm. Being a little bit different than your traditional film for mass audiences. No, 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 the Coens like to let things sit. Let things simmer for a bit, and once in a while I think they knock it out of the park. In the case of Inside Brian Davis, uh, for some people maybe, not for this guy. Let me tell you why. Oscar Isaac plays the titular character here, Inside. That's not right. Lewin. Lewin Davis is who he plays. The inside isn't part of it. That's actually the title of the album he created because you see he is a folk singer. He's a musician. He's an artist. And he's a struggling one. And that is an understatement. The guy doesn't have a home. Doesn't have a P.O. box. If you want to reach him, you can find him sleeping on the couch. If he's lucky, sometimes he's on the floor next to the couch because someone else has already taken that spot. I watched this movie with my wife. She hated it. I myself had mixed feelings. I appreciated the narrative. I appreciated the Coens once again, bucking the trends, doing something a little different. The movie's not that subtle though when it comes to the message. In fact, the Coens go out of their way to focus in later on the film on a poster at the movie theater for An Amazing Journey. I think is what it's called. Homeward Bound, remember that movie, that Disney gem about the three animals that go on an adventure thousands of miles from home only to find themselves back at the beginning? That's very much the structure of this film. We start the journey with Lewin as he's playing a beautiful song. I will point out the music in this. I'm not like a huge folk guy. I really liked all the different flavors of music. That's easily the highlight for me. After the song in the dank nightclub, he goes out to the alleyway, which is just as dank as the nightclub itself. He gets his clock cleaned by some stranger because apparently he was heckling his wife a night or two before. This will come full circle at the end. What it's telling us right now is Lewin Davis is going to go on a journey much like those animals, thousands of miles, only to wind up where he started at. And where did he start? Well, at the bottom. There's no celebration in this movie. There's no real happy people in this movie. They're all kind of trash. They all hate each other. They're all miserable together. And Lewin's a very cynical individual, so it's hard to sympathize. It's hard to get on board with his struggles. I get that he doesn't want to live his one life here, doing the day-to-day -day grind. End up like his old man, who's shitting himself, isolated, alone from society. Not remembered. Lewin Davis wants to be remembered as this amazing musician, bringing art to the world. The irony in all of this is the people in his life, in his inner circle, all know who his dad is. His dad actually did make a name for himself with his craft, whereas Lewin Davis is going to end up, by the end of his life, amounting to nothing. This is the type of movie to me where I talk through it and then I find myself appreciating it a lot more than when I'm in the moment. It's not really a movie I enjoyed watching, it's not a movie I want to revisit, but I respect it. I can see why it was recommended, and I can see the artistry on display. Visually, it's a good looking movie. It's not blowing me away, but it has some good contrast. It's got some good color. I like the blues, the somber tone throughout. Uh, we have obvious symbolism with a cat that's constantly in his life. He loses it. It gets injured later. It comes crawling back, much like Lewin himself. I mentioned the music, I wish there was even more of it because that's the stuff that really spoke to me and it would have made me connect to Lewin a little bit better. Because the dude's given multiple opportunities and he just pisses them away. And he's not very appreciative to the people in his life and there's not really any part of this guy that's very charismatic. In fact, the people that cross his path tell him 
You got to be a little bit more exciting. You have to draw us in. And as it stands, you're just not worth it. You're not worth the investment. Justin Timberlake's worth the investment. Adam Driver is worth the investment. These are guys that are going to crop up through this film and they're very welcome. I wish they stayed longer. That's the thing that really bothered me about the movie. I wish the good stuff stayed longer, but instead we spend like 20 minutes or so on a boring road trip with John Goodman. Now I love John Goodman, but this, this section of the movie was just a slog to get through. Carrie Mulligan has a small role in this too. She's from A Promising Young Woman. That's a great movie. I think that's a lot better than this. And that's kind of where I sit with the movie as a whole. Great performances, great visuals, great audio, story. Just a little too slow for me. It doesn't really have a payoff at the end. It kind of just ends. And I get that is the entire point the Coens are going for. There's nothing here. <laughs> but then at the end of the day when I'm watching the movie, there's nothing here either. So it's a story, it's like Seinfeld, it's a show about nothing, it's a movie about nothing, but at least Seinfeld's funny and entertaining. Whereas this movie, uh, not so much. All right, those are my thoughts on Inside Lewin Davis, Brian Davis. I wanna thank you for recommending this film, even though it probably didn't hit me the same way it hit you. I don't know how much you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. And same with you, the viewer. I wanna hear what you thought of Inside Lewin Davis from like a decade ago. Leave a comment below, like the video if you had a good time, maybe join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Even if you can't be a mithril, there's a $1 tier. I think if you've gotten any enjoyment out of my show over the years, that's a nice place to start. It's a nice way to say, hey, thanks Adam, keep going. Thanks again, make sure to subscribe if you're new here, and hopefully I'll catch you next time. Take care. <laughs>